Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you the first five parts of the song In the Still of the Night by Whitesnake. Here they are. If you like this video and others like it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more. All right, let's get into this thing. The first thing is you're going to do an F sharp bar chord. And actually, you're going to do an, you're going to do an open E bar chord to an F sharp bar chord. So, so you know, the first very first chord is you open E, put your second your pointer finger on the second fret of the A, hit that. Then put your pointer finger over all the strings of the second fret. Put your ring thing, thing, uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A, your pinky on the fourth fret of the D. Hit the first three. Primary. You can even just hit the first two. Actually, probably that's what they do. Probably just hit the two, but I always like doing three, three string bar chords. I don't know why. Alright. So it does that, and the first time he does a little lick. The second time, the second time through that chord, he does a little. So you just put your uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the D, middle finger on the third fret of the D. Point finger on the second fret of the D, pick down three in a row. Use the, the very tip of your pick if you want to get the same sound that he gets. I'm not going to get too much into how to do that. Alright, so then it goes back to. Alright, so then it gets to the main part, okay? And what that is, is the first thing you do is before you even. The, I mean, there's like a, kind of like a pre. Lick, what I call the pre-lick, and then the actual lick, or the riff, whatever you want to call it. And the, so the very first thing he does is he goes, and that's, you put your pointer finger on the second fret of the A, hammer on with your ring finger to the third fret of the A, and then hammer on with your ring finger to the fourth fret of the A. Pick down the open A, and then you get into the main riff. Hit that open A, you get into the main part of the riff, is what I call it. The other part was the, the pre-riff, but again, you could call you could call the whole thing just the riff. It's just to me, it makes sense because it almost it seems like he's doing that during the drum, not during the main riff. So anyway, okay. So what you, then, what you do is open A, pick down, hammer on with your, and again, this is how I do it. I don't know if you know this is exactly how they do it, but this is how I do it. Hammer on with your middle finger to the third fret of the A. Second fret on the A string, and then pull off the open to the open A. And then go back to the second fret. So hammer on, pull off, pull off. And then I pick down when I come back to the second. Fret of the A. See that? Put a lot of hammer on pull offs here. to the A again. Open A. You pull off, pull off down, to may pull off with your finger to the open A again. So it's then 
and you get your pointer finger and you pick down on the second fret of the E. And then, and then, and then pick, pick, and then pick, pick up on the second fret of the open A again. Start from the second fret of the A, pick down, hammer on the third fret with your uh, ring, your middle finger to the third fret of the A. Give me that same little progression, pull off, hammer on, pull off, pull off, to the second fret of the A, and then pull off back to the open. So, Same thing, you go back to the, go to the first, um, the second fret of the E. You, know, you, do that, you do the pull off to the A twice, you know, like that. Just like you did the first round. Then you pick down the second, the second fret of the E like you did the first time around. And this time you're gonna pull off the open E and then pick back and then hammer back onto the second fret of the E rather than going to the A. So here's the whole thing. And so then you go, oh, then you do an octave, you know, pointer finger on the second fret of the E, ring finger or pinky on the fourth fret of the, the, a, the D. Kind of like a, like an immigration song kind of thing, or immigrant song. Time you go open E, E, e break your bar chord, you know, put your second fret, put your second finger, or your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string, and then put your pointer finger on the second chord on the second fret of the A and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D. Then you do the whole thing again. Start right from the. You don't. You start from the. Um, yeah, you, you basically do the same riff. I just. I start with the second fret of the A, and um, so it's but rather than the open A. They say open A on the uh, on the tabs that I'm looking at, but to me it sounds better like this. It's like the whole thing's like. Second fret of the A, go. You can start from the A. Anyway, the way I do it, start from the second fret of the A and do that same progression. Second time you go, the first, your second fret of the, um, your first, your thumb, your thumb, your pointer finger on the second fret of the A and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D. And then you just do an open A. Open A with your pointer finger on the second fret of the D. So it's like the whole thing is this.
Okay, the next part is easy. It's just open E. And you're doing, you're doing an e, e chord. You put your pointer finger on the uh, seventh fret of the A. Or actually, you just put your pointer finger over the seventh, the, all the strings other than the low E. Put your ring finger on the uh, ninth fret of the D. I strum up and I hit the, just the chords from the D, the G, I mean the G, the D, the, the A, and the A. You can do it either way, but I do like a, a, a down, up, down, up, up, down. Where your pointer finger is in the fifth fret of the uh, the A, your ring finger is in the fifth, seventh fret of the D. So actually, yeah, you actually strum that. What I do is I, I I pick up like I did the first time, then I pick down on the second chord. part is the tabs I looked at were totally wrong they did something really weird in that first part but anyway all this is open A A open A string you put your pointer finger on the second fret of the D and just hit those two strings down, down, down. and then just go of the E with your middle finger come off to the o, open E again. And then the A again. So down, up, down, go off, down. Yeah, so down, up, go off, down. Oh, you're only picking twice there. Second fret of the A and your ring finger on the, the fourth fret of the D. Do that three times, but then before he gets to the next chord, he does this. All that is, is put your second fret on the A. This is really cool, cool licks, by the way. On the second fret of the A. Pick down and pull off to the open A. Where you pick down on the third fret of the E with your middle finger and then pull off the open. Tabs are looking at did something like this. It's really weird, but anyway, because. Then you go to that second chord. Your finger on the second fret of the A, your right middle finger on the fourth fret of the D. This. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the E, use your pinky or your ring finger on the fifth fret of the E, and just pull off to the open to the second fret of the A. E. You're hitting a, you're hitting a uh, ghost. Same chord, then you had to go to the, and then you just do an A, G, F. So it's like put your pointer finger on the second, or the fifth fret of the E, your middle finger on the, the seventh fret of the A. Put your 
pointer finger on the slide down the two frets, your pointer fingers on the third fret of the E, and your ring fingers on the fifth fret of the A, and then finally you put, the you put your pointer finger on the first fret of the E, and your ring finger on the third fret of the A. picking somewhere, I'm not sure where he picks, and then he just slides down. He gets all kinds of distortion. So he does that quite a bit. I know he does it right before that part. So Alright, so the next part is what I think is the coolest part so far, is the, the chorus, I guess it's the chorus, whatever this part is. Love that chord. Right, all that is is he does the you know he's basically just doing a D, but you put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the A, your ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. And then you take your pointer finger and slide it to the or slide it you put your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the A. And then you and use your uh, ring finger to hit the ninth fret of the A. Do that, and then you go you this chord with you, your ring fingers on the, the, the ninth fret of the A, and then your pointer finger is over the seventh fret of the D, G, B, and E. You don't hit the E though, just maybe the, the G, B, or the, the D, G, and B. Thing, you just do it in the third fret on the C. So you put your pointer finger on the third fret of the A and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D. Go to the use your pointer finger to the fifth fret of the A and, and use your and pick and then hammer on to the seventh fret of the A. And then do the chord where your your ring finger is on the seventh fret of the A and your pointer fingers over the D G B of the fifth fret. I forgot to mention that when you do this part, you can do a hammer on or you can pick both. I think I do a hammer on. Then you can pick both. Then he hits this. Pointer finger on the second fret of the A, ring finger on the fourth fret of the D. He does that. Picks down the open A twice. And then you take your, your middle finger, put it over the the uh, fifth fret of the D and the G, and slide it to the seventh fret of the D and the G. And you get one open A in the middle of that. fret of the E and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A and pinky on the fifth fret of the D if you want that there too. And finally you end up on the first fret with your pointer finger on the first fret over all the strings and your ring finger on the third fret of the A and your pinky on the third fret of the D. The whole thing is... And it ends up on the E. Open E, we just like a 
be one in the second part of the end. So that is part one. Again, if you like this video and you want to see the next one, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do the second part of this tomorrow or very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Jamming with White Snake.